Alright, so let's have some fun. Now, on this trail, we are going to have fun with reports and the report builder. So we are going to create uh, reports and we are going to discuss about three things. One is filters, just standard filters. You will see about that. And then we are going to use a cross object filters cross object filters and the last one is we are going to use filter logic okay so we are going to discuss about our own example but i encourage you after after you've watched the video to go through the business example that the trailhead is giving you try to do it and if you don't understand and you're stuck somewhere but this is pretty straightforward right just drop me a question jimmy at zone.io and i will answer your question so let's go ahead and do our own example that is way simpler than a business example okay so we are going to go ahead and launch our hands-on org on a new tab and launch this here then i can close this one so we are going to talk about reports so to access reports you can go from here reports or you can go from here where everything is available and type reports there okay the same thing here which you access from where from the sandwich icon here click there and then reports or you can access from the tab this tab which is this is opening this tab okay so this is the report section this is the report builder all right so the first one is we are just going to play with the simple filter so do you remember in the first um, trail about reports that we load uh, we were going to load 100,000 people's data, fake data, but since our storage is limited in this play, playground, the trailhead playground, we can only import, well, I can only import 3,900, but probably you can import more. Um, I'm stuck at 3,900 people because we were importing thousands of student records previously on the previous trail as well so that's okay let's go ahead so we are going to create a new report on the contact object right the contact because we import this data remember i'm gonna bring this over this fake data we import that into the contact object to play with the report all right so um let's see pretend we are a um, I don't know, a, um, um, a hospital, right? Because I see blood type there. <laughs> Let's try that. So we are a hospital. So there, there has been a, an accident. Let's make a new report here. So I'm going to make, uh, so choose the report type, right? We discussed about that a bit in the first introduction. So what are you going to report on? You want to report about cookies, about students, about teachers, about your about pets, or about contacts or accounts, which is we are what, what we are going to do right now. Okay. Don't get overwhelmed with all the whole thing, the whole stuff you can do here. Okay. So focus on what you want to report on which is contacts and account because we need the contacts here. So I'm going to choose this and continue. So this is how it's going to look like in the first place. So don't get overwhelmed, all right? So let's go from, from left to right, all right? So on the left side here, you see columns. Columns is all the columns you see on the right side here, right? right it's 
salutation, salutation, first name, last name. So for example, if I take one out, remove here, you will see this will be gone. Salutation, boom, it's gone. First name, last name, right? Well, I don't want title, for example. I don't need title. I don't need the account name, the street, uh, yep. Province, postal code, the country is all the same country. I don't need that. I don't need the fax. I want to remove the fax. Mobile, we don't have that data. Email, we have it. Account owner, we don't. So this is the basic, right? So this is the columns you want to display. You can take it out or add one out. I want the blood type because there has been an accident. This is a pretend case, okay? Pretend that there has been a, an accident and the victim requires blood blood transfusion. Okay, so oh, the victim requires blood transfusion, and this is all the donor in in all the United States. All right, all the blood donor. So we want to look for, for example, uh, an AB, AB here, AB blood type, right? So we want to know the donors who have a blood type of AB and we want to ask if they are available for a blood transfusion. If they want to help somebody who has been in a car accident and they are really bad. Okay, that is an example. Okay, so we, we, we had to filters, right? You had to filters and here you can filter and exclude or include the ones you just want or exclude the ones you don't want to be listed so this is easy I just want to list everybody who has a blood type of AB you know a blood type right every human have a blood type so the blood inside your body has a type is a, a a B an O or a B and then there's plus minus there the, the races or the races if you're going to grade I don't know, 11, 12, you study biology, you will learn about this. But every human have a blood type. And if the blood type is matching, exactly matching, then we can we can um, give some blood from our body to another human who have uh, who, who have who, who have needs, who, who, who requires an extra blood. So enough about the story. I'm gonna filter, add filter, okay, and I'm gonna type blood blood type well, we are not vampires <laughs> dracula you, you want to to find the blood type and then you want to drink the blood no this is uh, an accident and i want to see a b a b blood type okay i'm going to apply oh lots of people having a b right we haven't run the report yet this is just a preview a preview right if i if we run it then then uh, then we we will see the actual report so you see this is all the blood type that has a b only right now because the accident happens in california right i just want to uh, filter people in california all right so people in california um, i'm going to what is that a state right here state profit state and then equals ca is california right ca apply now you see all the people who is in california right let's see how many people are there so i'm going to run the actual report there oh we have 31 people, so not that much, right? So, okay, so out of these 31 people, we can start calling them, right? And email them, because we need their their blood um, for this person who had an accident just now, and they live in Los Angeles. Oh, there's a few people in Los Angeles. Let's filter this more, okay? So, let's. I'm going to edit again here. Click edit there. Oops, I click it twice. So we have to be patient. And then I'm going to add another column on the filter, which is city. And it's called a mailing city. Wait, what is that? Mailing city, right? Oh, it's already there. 
Nail. Oh no, no, my bad. This is the column, not the filter here. I want mailing city here. Mailing city equals Los Angeles, right? Apply three people. This is fake, okay? Remember, this is fake names. So David, Anita, and Anthony. So we are going to run it, and the hospital is now is going to call these three people, right? Call these three people. Oh, um, there has been a, an accident, David or Anita or Anthony. Uh, would you be willing, since you are a donor already, to help uh, the person in need? If they say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sick right now. So you can't contribute your blood if you're sick. And Anita is out of town. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually out of the country right now or whatever. Anthony, I don't want, oh, I'm, I'm too scared. I'm too scared right now to give uh, to get the needle stick on, onto my body. No, I don't want to. So everybody says no. Oh, okay, too bad. So we can find more people. So, so go to the filter again and take out Los Angeles, right? If you take it out, it's going to list everybody again and then you run it again and then you can sort this you can, you see the triangle here right if you sort that ascending means b first if you sort descending means the last one goes first z or w t s right it sorts like that and then you can start calling from the nearest uh you know city from los angeles I'm not sure maybe which one is is closer and you, you call them out so you can do some action from there so that is uh, the simplest filter um, function that we can use okay so that's one example you can run um, a lot of example but we're just touching the reports and dashboard on these trails we will go in more in depth in the admin intermediate trail or even even the um, advanced admin trail later on because this is the true power of Salesforce as well to give accurate answers for any kind of question in regards to whatever you are working on right so that's one example so let's move along otherwise this video can take two hours just discussing about reports this there is so many things you can do with reports but do not get overwhelmed don't get, ah what is this too much stuff going on well one step at a time therefore i won't go too far let's stop at this and let's discuss the next one which is cross filter right so what is cross filter let's discuss cross filter on the next video because i want to export and talk about vehicles or cars see here from the fake data we have vehicle what car each person is driving so i'm going to make this a new object oh we did actually i think and i'm going to import this together with you so you can see and then we can, we are going to report on the cars okay so let's do that uh, do that on the next video so this video is not going too long okay thanks and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>